What's up everybody? 915 Mang here doing a video today on the Coral Box 1 Motion Wave Maker. I picked this up from uh, reefbreeders.com from my buddy Logan and uh, I'm really excited about this product because uh, as you can see um, you attach your pump on there and it'll move it side to side instead of it just blowing line linear uh, flow uh, the thing will actually rotate your pump around which makes it really cool to find the uh, link you go ahead and click in the description and it'll take you right to the website as you can see there's my reef breeders link right there you click that also if you know you're shopping on Marine Depot and you want 10% off, you can hit that 915 man coupon code on the way out. But enough of that, let's go ahead and look at the uh, site itself. You might say, how much does this dang uh, thing cost? And there it is, not bad at all. I've been using this product for quite some time. I've been using it for a month now. And uh, the reason I got it is because my uh, pump uh, the I had got a uh, QP 16 and uh, I got it from reefbreeders.com it was still working but just the uh, front of the pump broke if you guys recall that in the last video well if you order from reefbreeders.com you get a 12 month warranty um, so that's another good reason to go ahead and uh, check them out but anyways I wanted to share that with you uh, let's go ahead and put this thing together um, as you can see, it has different options, okay? On my tank, I have a Euro brace, right? So you, you can mount a Euro brace on there. Or you, if you have a rimless, you just flip it like this and then mount it. There's like some holes right here and then you just screw in the uh, included screws. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, I first found out about this product. This is kind of like a uh, sea swirl, except... Uh, it's way simple it's just a motor you you put it in uh, on a little pole PVC pole you attach your pump to it and it rotates it swivels from side to side um, but I heard about it from uh, Rich Rich you will see him like in all the Macna coverage and all that he'll talk about equipment but he wrote an article and uh, it was pretty good I read it uh, it wasn't a video it was an actual article and I read it um, and it was talking about this pump uh, it was talking about the sea swirl back in the day this was the way they were the sea swirls but the technology just never developed so he was mentioning this product and then I was searching for a video man I couldn't find a video at all I did find something similar um, I saw some Tunzi uh, kind of rotation or I don't know what it's called but it was similar you which is pretty cool but this uh, the price is pretty affordable as you can see and uh, I am really excited to use this on my tank uh, like I said I have already had it on my tank but let's see if I get another one because this will eliminate a lot of dead spots as you can imagine and also one thing I would like to mention there was really no instructions on how to assemble this that's okay you guys got my video you guys can check it out if you guys decide to buy this um, real easy to do uh, and pretty much common common sense I know sense isn't common but uh, if you follow along this video have no problems at all the PVC pole where where your uh, pump will actually mount to was a little bit too long I did chop it up quite a bit and also the extension cord uh, is very very short so they do sell like these extension uh, for your for the mount itself but uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that I don't need that uh, just a good old fashioned uh, extension cord will work fine and uh, this is what the one I used and I've just plugged it in and it works just fine no problem at all guys But if you don't have one, you can just run to Walmart or wherever, Home Depot, doesn't matter. But this is what I'm going to use. And if you do actually want to buy the extension, I forgot how much it is. But if you just click the link below like I showed you, you guys can see all that. Uh, because this is a little short. 
and all it is is like a little pigtail to make it a little bit longer so if you have an extension cord running around the house uh, you're good to go putting it together was not hard at all as you can see it's pretty simple uh, you just put it on there like I said I did cut the cord the uh, extension pole down a little bit and that's what it looks like on the top let's go ahead and put this thing in the water and as you can see all the detritus is flowing um, this pump is hitting uh, all the dead spots in my tank and from side to side I just put this in I didn't uh, actually keep it in this position and I'll show you what I mean here in a minute um, because it's in the front of the tank now some of you might say well this box is ugly you could run it towards the back of your tank and what I actually did I just put it in the corner of my tank the other side of my tank um, I removed my mp40 and I put it on the other side but man if you have two of these in your tank you're gonna be looking pretty like I said this is an alternative to a sea swirl um, just clip on your pumps right there and you're good to go uh, and you can see all the detritus that's kicking out in a reef tank flow is one of the most important things uh, next to lighting and a protein skimmer and all that but this thing is definitely moving quite a bit of uh, flow right now um, I have it on a pulsating mode and I'm gonna find the right setting for this because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on a pulsating mode but as you can see it is kicking up quite a bit of uh, detritus which is all the dead spots in the reef tank I like to hear what you guys think about this product would you guys consider buying it um, and I think another one in my tank would look pretty sweet uh, just to get all the dead spots you know but this one pump is awesome I had three pumps running in this tank but with this one um, right now I think I'm pretty happy I am gonna let you know I don't think you can mount this if you have a uh, you know a tank with a plastic bracing on the top like the kind that you would get from Petco uh, it's only gonna work if you have a euro brace and also if you have a rimless tank that's the only way you know you could probably mod it to make it work I'm sure you guys could do that but straight from the box it's only gonna work on a euro brace tank and a rimless tank I did go ahead and click on a uh, filter sock for this tank because of all the dust uh, that the, was flowing around in my tank but water movement really good random flow you know there's other things out there lots of technology but uh, this is kind of like an old school thing you can see how it uh, mounts right there with the screws I do wish that it had some more mounting points just you know like two more screws for a little bit further back on the euro brace but uh, other than that I haven't had any problems uh, and that's also probably the reason why I'm not running on a wave mode I just have it on a um, you know like straight path and uh, if it had the other two poles I'd probably run it on a, a stronger wave mode but pretty good no problems hasn't fallen and it's really quiet now the only thing that uh, is bad is my sand my sand bed is being blown around from parts of my tank that you know was dead spots now those dead spots are getting flowing so the sand is like blowing all over the place now the kind of sand that I'm using on my reef tank is the Fiji pink sand uh, it is being blown around it is not like the sugar fine sand but uh, it's pretty coarse sand and the pumps are definitely blowing them around but other than that you know no concerns no issues so far so let me know what you guys think about this product I like it it's quiet it does a lot of random flow so if you're thinking about getting one let me know click that link the way that I showed you how to do it and uh, if you want to read the article let me know I'll look for it and maybe I'll pin it to the comments or something like that but this thing is pretty cool can't wait to see the new growth that my SPS will take and uh, I think it is just a great addition to my roof tank but we'll catch you guys on the next one you guys have a good one thanks for watching you guys take care